This morning we have another car going to the somewhat big installation in Urban Rachatane. So they go with the last panels, 14 panels, and some other equipment. Now because almost all the other guys are in Urban Rachatane already, we only have two guys here now. So that means uh, the wife also has to help a little bit. Take the panels, get the panels in the car. Of course I cannot work, that's impossible. <laughs> uh, today I wanted to talk a little bit about um, panel, how many degrees, if you are making your own frame, how many degrees should you aim for on the frame. So normally the knowledge in the solar industry is that you should look at the latitude and put that towards south. So let's say you are living in Udontane, you have maybe 17 degrees um, on the, no, sorry, on the latitude. Then you should aim for 17 de degrees on the roof south facing. That is the common knowledge. But you have to remember that this is based on solar um, parks and solar farms, where the only thing that matters is the total production over the whole year. And for that, that is correct. Then you should put the slope facing south to the same as the latitude. But, of course, uh, when you are using energy in the house, it doesn't work like that because we use a lot more energy in the hot season. In March, April, May, that's when we use the most energy because almost all houses they use the most energy electricity for air conditioning. Almost no houses where it's not like that. So that shows you that residential is completely different from solar farms. So if you use the solar farm thinking for residential, you're gonna make a mistake there actually. So why are you optimizing for a time when you are not really in the need of that much energy? Almost all the systems that we have have a surplus in that time because people use very little energy for air condition, which is obviously, like I said, the, the percentage-wise is the, the energy is used most for air condition. So it makes sense then to optimize for towards the hot season, which means flatter because then um, the sun is higher in the sky. It's just the way the sun goes. Uh, so when the sun is higher in the sky, a flatter panel, f flatter roof, flatter frame will give more production. Uh, so what we are talking about here now is not a huge amount, but it's enough that you should know about it and don't take this knowledge from solar farm uh, information and use that for residential. Uh, that is wrong. And... In the industry, most uh, companies that install for houses do it wrong when they when they make frames. Now you could have somebody who wants some other um, valuation on the variables, like for for example, if uh, an area is prone to hail, then a little bit steeper slope can help you. But uh, you have to have a good reason to go outside of this general thinking uh, because hail is extremely rare so if you want to take that into account you better know that the risk in your area is much higher because if not you are, you are making a mistake there but I mean people have different uh, priorities so it's not up to me to say what is 100% correct but it's up to me to give you the information so that always when we make a frame, I will send them this information. And that's also why I make this video, so it's easier for me to distribute the information. I have an old video where I also talk about it, but I wanted to explain in the context of solar farms, to explain why people think that you should always use uh, latitude, and also explain why that's absolutely not correct. Now, you could think from this uh, reasoning that we should uh, go for flat panels because that's going to be even better uh, in those hot months. 
but that's taking it too far because then the self cleaning in the rain becomes almost not uh, not usable. That's important too to have some slope on the panels for self cleaning. So you don't want to overdo it and go flat. But that's why I aim for between 10 and 15, anywhere there. But depends where you are in the country, obviously. The further up north you are, the little bit more slope you should have. And the further south, the, little, the less. But uh, for my own installations, if I can decide, I go for very little slope. So for example, this roof where we have 18 panels, this is maybe seven, eight degrees. Maybe it should be a little bit more. But uh, when you have that, you have very nice production, even from, this is facing west, but even early in the morning, this has very good production, uh, just because they are so little slope. And that's a general principle that as long as you avoid very steep slope, you're gonna have good production all all season, all all day basically, from morning until afternoon. It's when you have very steep slope and you don't have other options, that's when you need to compensate. More panels, more directions. So yeah, that's it. <laughs>